Hi, I'm Natalia Kern. Welcome to my Fit for Two series. When we're pregnant, we're limited in our training. We can't do high intensity training anymore. We can't do jogging or running that much. Some of us can jog through the pregnancy. I'm not one of them, unfortunately. We can't do jump roping and we can't do any crunches anymore. But we can still stay very fit and very healthy through pregnancy. And today we're gonna work out our booty and legs. So important to keep your lower body strong. This is what will carry you through the pregnancy very fit and will help you through labor to make it faster and easier. And also don't forget about postpartum recovery. Strong legs will help you that tremendously. So I will show you my top three moves for stronger and fitter lower body. The first exercise is plie. You heard of it, you've done it many times, but plie is so important for preparing for delivery. So you stand straight, your back is straight, try to, try to stand an inch taller than you actually are, elongate your spine. Your chin is up and you look straight forward. Now your legs are wide apart, toes facing out. Place dumbbells and I use resistance through my pregnancy from the first to uh, third trimester. I last, my last pregnancy, I used weights all the way through my pregnancy. But if that's something you haven't done before, this is not the time to start. So you can easily do this move without any dumbbells, without any resistance. But if you've done that, it's good to continue. Just um, make sure you feel your body, you're comfortable to do it. You also don't feel any discomfort, pain, or unusual baby movements. And please consult with your doctor before proceeding to any of these exercises. Okay, so we're standing straight, we're prepared for a plie, and we are squatting down, forming 90 degrees between your quads and your ankles. And up, squeezing those glutes as hard as you can. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Exhale. Inhale, back is straight, chin is up. And we're doing 10 repetitions. Through my first trimester, I haven't reduced any weight in my dumbbells. Second trimester is good to consider reducing it 20%. And by third trimester, 50% is good reduction in weight but it all depends on your pregnancy and your own strength and endurance. 10. You want to repeat this exercise three to four sets or as many as you can feeling comfortable and strong. Our second move is very good for our lower body, especially hamstrings and booty. And this is reverse lunge. So stand straight also, you can move this, uh, you can do this exercise without dumbbells, without any resistance. So you stand straight, your feet are shoulder width apart. Uh, your back is straight, your chin is up, grab dumbbells by your sides. And we're stepping back, lunging down. Two, squeeze your glutes doing this exercise. When you squat down, make sure your knee is forming 90 degrees. Four, five, and don't forget to breathe. And 10, other leg. Our center of gravity while pregnant is off. You probably noticed this already. So make sure you do it at your own pace. Five, don't forget to breathe. Six, seven. One more. And you want to repeat this move 
three to four sets. Now our third move is deadlift. Deadlifts you can do from the first day you got pregnant to the last day. This is something that's so helpful to keep your lower body strong and fit and prepare yourself for a delivery. Okay, so you stand straight. I'll show you. Stand like so with your feet. Normally, it would be shoulder width apart, but to make space for your baby, they're gonna be a little bit wider. Grasp your dumbbells in front of you. Back is straight. Don't dip your, don't arch your lower back. Just keep it neutral. Your chin is up and we're lowering our dumbbells. Like so, below the knee and coming back. Squeezing your glutes, coming up. And push your body weight through the hills. Three. Draw your belly button towards your spine. Hold your baby in. Exhale on the way up. Back is straight. Shoulders and hips are square. Two more. And up. Repeat this move for three to four sets. Now again, please stay hydrated. You must hydrate your body really well through the workout and throughout the day. And make sure you had a light snack before proceeding to exercise so you won't have uh, any dizziness, nausea, or won't be lightheaded. Please consult with your doctor before proceeding to any of these exercises and stay active. This will help your nausea, this will help you to stay fit and active during the pregnancy. It will make your labor easier and postpartum recovery faster. Stay fit and healthy. I'm Natalia Kern with Fit for Two. Hey Fit Mamas, did you like this video? Please like it and subscribe to my channel. Do you have any comments? Please place your comments below this video. If you have any questions, please send it to Natalia at bodybynatalia.com. And maybe if you want to share something with all Fit Mamas out there, please send it through and we'll be happy to share it with Fit for Two Mamas.